biggest part about painting your bus is the prep. Truly, it's what you pay for, the labor. So let's get started. To prepare Magnolia for paint, Eli closed in the remaining holes and I removed the reflectors, the mirrors, the lettering, and used Goo Gone to remove the remaining glue residue. We actually removed most of the reflectors pretty much when we got the bus, but the best way we found to remove the reflectors was with a heat gun, open spatula, or a scraper. Oh, it's not cool anymore. No, it's done now. After everything was completely removed, we began sanding. And sanding, and sanding, and sanding. It took about one week to remove all the reflectors and letterings in total and about an entire second week to sand the bus. Now, the next step is to clean your bus. Some people may think to use soap and water, but you might run into issues with water dripping from the crevices and ruining your beautiful paint job even though you spend the time to dry it thoroughly. So we recommend using paint thinner to wipe your bus down a couple of times. It's a bright sunny day and we are painting the bus tomorrow. Amber is wiping down the bus with some whatever that is. Paint thinner. Wear some gloves. Uh, use lots of rags. Clean rags. Cotton works best. Um, or else you're just going to start smearing powdered paint everywhere from your sanding. So we've got the entire bus sanded. Amber did a lot of the sanding. I was doing some mechanic work, so I'm finally getting my hands yellow. I've been sanding the bus for a couple of days now, and it sucks. I've been doing the ribs, and most of the ribs where it was flaking, I took it down past the clear coat, but for the majority of it, just scuffed it up. I have been using a soft pad. I have this 100 grit soft pad. Soft pad works great on curves, the rivets. This hard pad, palm sander, works great on the flat. So this is 120, this is 100. That's all we're going with before spraying it down. While, while I'm sanding on the back end and Amber is wiping down, uh, Jade is starting to tape. So we're, we're hoping to get the whole bus prepped today to where we just have, just have to spray tomorrow. Covering all the windows turn signals, engine, covering it all with a uh, tape and newspaper. Today has been a long day. Turn around, baby. Um, we've been taping all day long on the bus. We've had an entire crew here, not so helpful with the bus. Um, Chance and his uncle have been pulling the motor all day. I'll lie to you, not all day. Chance and his uncle have been yanking the motor second half of today um, we are wrapping it up on the tape job because we are running out of daylight we're hoping to uh, wake up in the morning wipe the bus down and check over it a couple times and get the spray in so uh, we are going to have a pretty painted bus tomorrow and then I am excited I'm ready for it to be over this is a big project and uh, I think we're gonna take a nice little break from from bussing ass <laughs> after this is painted. Yes, indeed. That will be nice. So this is what it looks like. We are wrapping it up. If you want to see her tape job real quick, how we're doing it, we put tape. We're putting tape to make it nice and clean, and then the paper is sticking to the tape. 
call your grandma. Tell her you need some newspaper. We got this from Amber's grandma. And mostly my grandpa. He's the one here. Mostly grandpa. <laughs> And um, we have plenty of newspaper for the whole bus, so oh, yeah. and it really didn't even take that much. It was it was a little uh, plastic bag full, so probably went through a, a rim a rim of tape, two thousand feet of tape. Yeah. We had some kids helping us. We spent an entire day taping. It was crazy the amount of prep work we put into this bus just for a couple of hours of spraying paint, and honestly. This final day of prep was pretty chaotic for us. We had just completed our camper demo and Eli's friend finally showed up to remove the engine that he wanted. But we did it. So I want to know what was the most stressful part for you about your paint day or if you're not doing a build yet, tell me what you would be most scared to do. Our decision on the color was pretty spur of the moment. Originally, we were going to go with a flat black to match the chalkboard paint that we planned to put on the hood. But then the hood broke. I bet you're wondering why my hood is off. So when I got it, we had all this damage already. We have cracks here and here. And you can see how the the hood is a different shade of paint. Previous owner taped it off and kind of tried to do some, some body work and it's a different paint here and here. So yesterday when I popped the hood to try to look at something, this whole bottom piece broke off and the hood was hanging down like a mess this was the old repair job you know you can see some of the fiberglass work um these are the brackets that hold on the hood to the frame of the bus so it broke at the bracket what you got a fresh egg it's warm you want to feel it straight out the butt straight out the butt <laughs> so this is going to be another project for another day some ugly things were said yesterday morning amber's starter also died on her truck and my air dog system that i tried to install yesterday had to order about 60 dollars worth of fittings to get the job done so bus is currently going nowhere we were hoping to use the hood as like a sign at conventions but then decided that it was best not to put that extra stress on it after it was fixed. We went to Tractor Supply in search of a paint that wouldn't break the bank and landed on a beautiful New Holland Blue tractor enamel. We chose this enamel for two main reasons. One, it was cheaper than the Rust-Oleum brand that didn't have many color options and this enamel is specifically made for heavy duty applications. So they have no paint shaker. They sell all this paint and don't have a paint shaker. So we're gonna have to try to get it shaken somewhere else because it's it's been on the shelf for a long time, but these are all their different colors. Yeah, their paint selection is garbage. This is the stuff you need, but they don't have the gallons. Doesn't look like they have sticks to stir them or a shaker to shake them, so maybe they should stop selling paint. So we came back to my favorite place in Maurice, in the process hardware. Uh, support your local business, guys. Tractor Supply did not have a paint shaker or paint sticks. These paint gallons were completely separated, so I shop here a lot of Brasso's and they they very nicely shook all these gallons for us, so. No, we didn't buy them. We didn't buy them here. We bought other stuff from them, but yeah. they used their equipment for us, so. Thank you, Brassos.
It's paint day, baby. It's paint day. It's Friday. <laughs> it's paint day. We're having some trouble with our tape sticking. We uh, we taped all day yesterday, and the dew, the dew really effed us up this morning. It's to be expected. Water and water and tape don't really mix, but uh, and newspaper. So, first half of the day, we're waiting for this to dry off. Uh, the dew was still on the bus, so the bus was wet. Uh, paint doesn't stick to water, guys. So. It's drying now. We're fixing our tape. There's quite a few trouble areas, quite a few of the, the papers and windows that came undone. So we're just making sure we have everything done. We will be wiping the bus down and then spraying because it's paint day. So we got a little paint, paint set up here uh, out of the wind of the dust. In order to put it through the sprayer that Eli has, it needs to be thinned out. So we have enamel thinner because this is enamel paint. Of course it has to be stirred. The ratio is about half. Half paint, half thinner. This paint is a little thinner than what I've messed with before. So this this ratio specifically is more more paint than thinner. But it's it's about half. You you feel it out. This is its consistency now and you want to get it faster than that but not too much faster you don't want it you don't want it thin like water because then you'll have runs when you're spraying I was a little more than half with paint and then less than half with thinner because I already know the ratio but it's still it's still a, a working thing that you have to play with okay. all right so I didn't end up needing to add anything perfect measurements you know uh, this thing doesn't take the entire bucket but uh, we got a handy dandy little lid and the run we were showing you is about, is about the right consistency that he is looking for it's a little little thicker than water we're gonna, gonna be using these filters because with this can, it was already used once to paint the hood. Alright, we've got these nifty little filters, so we're going to pour our paint through that. Because the, the spray gun does not like things which is also why we're thinning it oh I should have been wearing gloves sorry about that mama we're gonna be all blue by the end of the day yeah these filters they look like they have some dried up paint in there <laughs> Yeah, they do. Look, they got some chunks in that filter, so it would be very wise to strain your uh, paint. You know, clog up this thing. I'm using a tankless sprayer by Wagner. Um, I see them at Home Depot now that I have one, but the first time I seen them was online. And uh, it's worked pretty well. I've sprayed a few things with it so far. And I'm comfortable spraying the whole bus with it, so. So the spray gun that I have just shit on my face. Um totally coming out of this port up here where it's not supposed to come out of um, I thought there was too much I've tried adjusting it many different ways 
Um, we tried thickening the paint. I took it all apart and checked all the components that I can. And it is just, it's just thrown up all over the place. So I think it's dead. Um, so another wrench in our day, super disappointing. Um, this is dripping everywhere. That's throwing so much that it's dripping. So it's throwing, it's throwing paint all over our paint job. And that's not what we want. Um, so it looks like I'm fixing to spend a whole bunch of money on another sprayer to get this done today. Sorry, buddy. So we just got back from Lowe's. When I left, I was explaining to you how this was giving me problems. We just picked up this new and improved version. It looks like they fixed the problem I'm having. Super annoying. So this was $200 for another one. Um, I'm in a bind. That wasn't going to work for me. Bus needs to be painted. Now that we've spent another hour in town, all of our tape is starting to come off again. So we're fixing to jump on some ladders and spend another hour getting ready for paint again. In total, we used three gallons of blue, three gallons of thinner, six spray cans of black, and six rolls of tape. The tape we used was horrible. Eli ordered what he thought was frog tape off Amazon and was sent some knockoff that practically refused to stick. So I'd probably say don't skip on the quality of tape and Double check the brand in checkout. Oh, baby. She looked good. All right, y'all. That's it. We hope y'all found this video helpful or at the very least entertaining. So smash that like button and tell us how we did in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.